We just took in a 2013 Itasca Sunstar 26 HE. It's less than 28 foot long, has a single slide out and a ton of storage. Let's go check it out. Well, hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. As always, my name's Taylor Quayle. We are here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. And today we get a look at a Shorty Class A. This is a 2013 Itasca Sunstar 26 HE. It's under 28 foot long, has the Ford Super Duty chassis with the V10 Triton engine. It's a single slide out, but it's got a ton of storage and space for the size, let's go give it a tour. So we're gonna actually start in the rear where the biggest storage area is. So you got a dual compartment or dual access compartment in the back. You got one access right there. You can see it goes a little bit to the left, big enough for a spare tire. But let me show you the other access, which is on the side of this coach. And look at this, just a ton of storage. Very nice, you know, you wouldn't expect that much on a 28 foot class A, but you get it. So since we're in the back, there is no ladder, so I can't show you the roof, but we do have a 5,000 pound hitch with a seven pin connector right there. You've got your generator exhaust, not the coach exhaust. A couple newer style looking tail lights. It's not full body paint, and the driver's side saw a little bit more sun than the passenger side, but honestly, for the age being 11 model years old already, it's in really good condition. So, your next compartment up here, mainly a water tank, if I remember correctly. Yep, mainly a water tank and a water pump, and then you got some low point drains right there too. Nice, solid latching doors right there. They do have a couple to hold up the doors that are not side latching ones. Your tires are all Michelin X series, 245, 75, I'm sorry, 70R, 19.5, and our date code is 20 of 21. So they're only a couple years old, just over a couple years. Like I was talking about the paint, the decals on the passenger side look really good. You'll see a couple small chips here and there which on this age, it's expected. I'm a little surprised at how high up the water heater is. I am not tall enough to see this, but it is a six gallon water heater. Then we got the back of the furnace, one of the other side latching doors, which is just a compartment. You don't have any pass-through storages on this. You got a ton of compartments, but no full on pass-throughs. Next up, Another compartment, but whenever you see this without a key, it's probably propane, and that's what it is. And of course, they don't tell me how big it is there, so I will figure that out and put it on the screen. And you got your other tire up front. It does have a backup camera, no side vision. Your awning, let's scoot up here a little bit, is electric, pretty much the full length of the coach. You can't fit much more. I mean, you know, maybe a couple inches there, but that's literally it. And it looks good. It's a little dirty but it looks good. Now let's, we try to step back here and avoid the sun. It's not gonna work, but here, let me extend this. See the top of that awning there. Good cloth awning. All right, moving on over to the front, trying to get out of the sun here. You got the V10 Triton back there. Believe it or not, it's not the 305 horse, it's a 362. So they didn't do any of the 305 V10s in this. This is the smallest model from the Sunstar. They go all the way up to 36 foot. So, obviously same tires throughout. You can see just a little hair of your leveling jack right there. This thing does have full leveling system. Hydraulic pump right there, probably for those jacks. And then these two compartments are just compartments. They're decent size. Same concept with this one. It's literally the same thing. Only a single slide out. It's not crazy deep. It's just for the dinette. I think the fridge is part of it too. Gear driven slide, 18 inches deep it looks like. It does have a slide topper. And then on this back corner here, this is the worst decal on the coach. Really the only one that's cracked, but you know, maybe they had some covered parking and this little butt end was exposed to the sun. Who knows? Next up, we got your dump station and 30 amp power service cord. It is clean in here. No auto transfer switch, so you do gotta plug it in if need be if running the gen set. And I don't know why I have the cord running through here. There's a little run through in the middle. Fuel fill back here. 
generator, 4,000 watt gas. I think it was 140 hours on that gen set. Not much at all. And there's that backup camera. So I know it's pretty quick, but that's the exterior. You know, when he only got it, I think it's 27 feet, six inches from tip to tip. It doesn't take too long to go through. A couple steps that come out right there. We do have a screen door. Something to keep in mind, this door will hit the awning arm. So if you have it open, you're trying to put the awning out, don't. <laughs> Awning control coach uh, and step buttons right there. We do also have batteries under here. And this is what you see right when you walk in. Why did I not shut this blind? That glare was brutal. All right, so this is what you see right when you walk in. You're greeted with the slide for the dinette. Of course, you got the front cab area. You got this little barrel bucket seat, whatever you want to call it, right behind the passenger seat. Your kitchen. And of course, bath and bedroom. But let's start up front. So I always talk about Winnebago's furniture. These seats are 10, 11 model years old. And look at the condition. They are phenomenal. I know Winnebago's had their own seamstresses for many and many of years. And I always talk up Winnebago furniture like it's the best in the business. And I haven't been proved incorrectly. So very nice looking seats. Let's check the mileage. 23 and some change, 23, 382 sounds like a v10 triton right there backup camera right there and that hydraulic pump down below was not for the levelers because it's an electronic leveling system auto leveling push a button does its thing and then you got your kind of cd player right there all right sorry about the weird jump there i had a customer come on to the lot and i <laughs> it's been a while since i was back here shooting so i don't even remember where we were so we're just going to look at the leveling system here full electronic leveling jacks has the pioneer cd multimedia device you know bluetooth all that good stuff passenger doesn't have any desk area that was an option for every coach above this both your seats are manual seats but they will go forward and back and then twist around of course the driver is always a little bit harder to twist around, be with the steering column in the way. We got a GVWR of 16,000 pounds on this coach. Okay. Right behind the passenger seat is a little barrel chair. You can remove it if you want, if you want to start twisting around that passenger, but it, it doesn't recline. It goes back and for, forward, and then it will also twist. One of those is a twist, but you generally got to sit in them to make them move a little bit easier. Right above that, we do have one storage, decent size, local TV antenna above us, kind of that carpeted sound suppressant ceiling. Every light in this coach is this like light blue color. Probably one of my first upgrades because it is a little dark in here with darker wood. So I would definitely probably get those to be more of a brighter color instead of warm. So right to the right of the entry door is gonna be your kitchen. It's like a corner kitchen. There's not much counter space on the right or the left. I guarantee myself I'd probably add a pop-up leaf right here, give yourself a little bit more, but you do have a decent amount back there. We have your high point standard microwave with a fan and light, three burner gas stove top right here. It does have the oven. It's a baby oven, but it's got an oven. And then singular drawer under that probably pots and pans dual bay sink nothing crazy on the faucet it doesn't extend or anything but you could add an extra seat now you do have some storage in here they probably had some chemicals down here because you got a little bit of a stain probably from some crazy fabuloso or something like that above that to the right more storage more storage are those connected those are connected that's nice and then let's check this one that one's not connected. And then just barely to the right of that, generator. The only thing, it does have a little LED issue on the gen screen. Let's see if that pops up. Oh no, it went away. 131.7. Earlier there was a couple like little black marks on it. You could still read it, but it was there. Level tester, water pump, um, and then of course your thermostat for the AC. Power. Is that a, is that a solar? controller there might be solar up top i will do some research and find out for sure and then finally i wish they added more drawers than just these three in a different area but you got three pull out drawers right here which is a plus now we're gonna flip her around 
And before we get to the fridge, let's start at this slide. So this slide out there, all the way down right past that fridge area, has a booth dinette. You, you flip that little leg up, you could drop that booth dinette down and it will turn into a sleeper. Two seat belts on this side, one seat belt on this side. I am missing a cup holder, but these, that's all it is. It's just a little plastic insert. And then of course, overhead storages, connected all the way down that way. Now, since we're here, let's check out my printouts. We are selling this guy for 47, oh, that's not a good background. 47 grand, 23,000 miles. You can see 60 fresh, 43 black, 38 gray, single slide. Height, 12 feet, one inch overall. Your actual floor plan is right there. On any of these, pause them. Look how much I'm shaking. My gosh, it looks like I have Parkinson's. Pause them. You'll be able to read through all this. So here is all your sizes, weights, awning size, 19 foot awning. That is nuts. Engine info. And then I tried to highlight options. They're really, in this specific size, they hardly had any options. All their options were for like the 30 footers and bigger. And then there's the last little option list. But it does show you all the standard features that this coach does come with. Small complaint, no storage under the dinette. My God, that glare is killing me. No storage under the dinette. You can still get to some of the storage from under the cushion, but you gotta go under the cushion to get to it. Just behind this rear or front facing dinette area, you do have a little pantry. One, two, three, four, and five shelves. No cold gas and electric fridge and freezer. These do not have an ice maker, unfortunately but they will run off of propane. All right, now we have a little hallway. This door, I don't know if it's specifically meant for it, but it kind of doubles as a separator from the bathroom. There is still very tiny little gap, but you could put like a little magnetic piece so it kind of stayed in place. And then for the bedroom, you have a little accordion style shade. You have a little accordion style shade that you can use to give yourself a little bit more privacy, it goes into this little notch right there. Now, let's see if we can hook this with one hand. Perfect. All right, so your shower is, it's a split bathroom. So you have a little step up into the shower and it looks like a two by three pan, looking down two piece fiberglass shower with the skylight up there. And the faucet's actually pretty high up there. I'm 5'9 and I can actually be under that faucet. Now, once again, the blue light in here causes it to be pretty dark. Another fantastic fan in here, which is a very big plus. Always love me an AC vent in the bathroom and a heat vent. <laughs> Little plastic sink in here, no medicine cabinet, but we do have some storage left and right. Little drawer and then some storage right there. Actually got an area of TP and a towel rack. All right, now let's flip around, check out the bedroom. Bedroom has a queen bed. Looks like a short queen bed. Looks like a 60 by 75. Wardrobe, overhead storage, small wardrobe. Because you have that massive, massive storage outside, this little area is all that outside compartment, so you don't have as much walk room on the left and right side, but it is still a walk around bed, technically. So that's the smallest wardrobe in here. Nice deep drawer. I'll show you one of these overhead compartments goes all the way down the only really imperfection i found except for you know a couple of the wear and tear things on this guy here's the other wardrobe is i just saw it earlier you see that little piece hanging right there you got another one right here it's like a little trim piece you can see it coming off down there all it just needs to be re-glued that one's a little bit more crazy but not a big deal now i don't know why i came over here when the tv's in the other corner let's take a peek at that that little metal cord right there you could pull that and actually pull that tv out and mount it a little bit differently i'm not a big fan of the exposed cords but you have an area you have a tv in the bedroom which this size of a unit can't complain too much all right so that's pretty much the walkthrough now of course last but not least we got to put the slide in slide control all the way up there it does also have a slide lock so turn that off it won't move you know what since you guys are here, let's just do this live. So I'm holding it down right now. We'll see this button or see this slide come all the way in. 
it's not a crazy deep slide, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. You can still literally use everything in this coach. All right. So as we can see, slide is in all the way. You just lose a little bit of walkway. You gotta kind of do a side step right there going through the hallway, but dinette, oven, sink, even the fridge, you can't really stand in front of it because it gets real close, but they designed it perfectly where you can fully open that fridge. Nothing changes in here because the bathroom, there's no slide and same concept with the bedroom. Zero change. Let's go take a peek of her outside with the slide and the awning in. So if you have any questions on this 2013 Itasca Sunstar, I will put all my contact info on the screen right now. You can text me or email me, whatever I could do. 47 grand is our selling price. And here's a big difference with that slide out all the way in. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great day.